So I was thinking we go inside of it. Like that thing where you do this at the top layer of the drinking stuff? That's not new. I've done that before. No, I'm thinking we go down deeper and stay there a while. Oh, uh, well, see, that's not possible because of there's no air down there. Right. And I personally love air. I'm, I'm constantly breathing the stuff. Yeah, no, same here. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of something that's a little bit of a change of pace. Something that is different than what you would normally find on my channel. For the last few weeks I have been spotlighting indie game developers and giving their game a shot. And today's game is Dave the Diver. Now before we talk about Dave the Diver, first off just give it a chance, okay? I know the name, you're probably thinking what in the world is that? When it has me playing through the demo twice and wanting more, you know that it is a good, at bare minimum, decent game. Now, what Dave the Diver actually is, it is some of the most beautiful pixel art 3D I have ever seen. And of course, we're gonna be playing the game in this video, and it is Deep Sea Exploration meets Sushi Bar. I know, I know, give it a chance. Trust me on this one, and I'm gonna give you a little taste with part of the opening cinematic. Right, everyone, Dave is now standing on the edge of his boat and he is ready to dive into the abyss and we are tracking the sea people in this mission. Now, before we take the plunge, I wanna quickly show you your cell phone because I feel like they have big plans for this device in the future. And this is basically your menus. So your weapon shop as far as crafting different weapons, your item shop as far as selecting and upgrading certain items, like my diving suit where I can now dive deeper. You have your to-do, which is just your missions. On here, you have your call log with your different NPCs that you can actually call. You've got your mail, calendar, weather, album. I'm guessing you're gonna be able to take pictures. You probably take pictures now. And lastly, my favorite, music. I love it when games give you options to change the in-game tracks. I know lots of games do this. Great feature for Dave the Diver, okay? And I'm sure all these other little things are going to unlock. They got mini games, health. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty cool. Just wanted to quickly show you the phone before we make the plunge, which is now. Jump, Dave, jump. Now, the loading screen, it's gonna give us a fish. Tell us something about the fish. The Great Barracuda. See, so you're learning when you're playing Dave the Diver as well. And I gotta say, this game is an adult title. I wanna be clear, this is for adults. That being said, my kids love sitting on my lap and playing with me and swimming around and catching fish. Ready, we're gonna harpoon some fish. And I'm gonna serve you to eat at my restaurant. So I'm gonna show you the restaurant after this, okay? So you're swimming, obviously absolutely amazing pixel art, all 3D. And when you're doing this, there's lots of upgrades you're gonna find while you are swimming around. So. I'm gonna do a lot of exploring. If there's a chance we die or we don't complete the mission, just know that I'm trying to showcase everything. So we found a little uh, weapons crate. And we got an electric harpoon. So now we got an electric harpoon right over here. I like the electric harpoon. Helps us catch bigger fish. All right, down here you will see your oxygen. You'll see your depth. 
and then you can carry up to is a 9 kg all right now what do we got oh we got a electric bang stick every time you log in it is randomly generated so every level looks different let me get that blue fish out of range it swam away so as our oxygen goes down you'll find these little crates and bam our oxygen is back up okay let's see what we got in here Oh, just another electric harpoon. Pick up some rope and some wood. And now the point of this mission is we have to dive deeper. Look at this. Fish is trying to kill me. I got a gun now. Die. All right, I got it. Let's see if we can find a better gun. That is the better gun. Triple harp. Oh, no, what's this? Uh, Red sniper. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Wait, this is the one I was looking for. Okay, we gotta go deeper for this mission. Mm -hmm. Now, my favorite thing in the game is this middle slot right here, and you can get things that make you move faster. Ah, we got inked. That's okay. Oh, I want that fish right there. That'll make some good sushi. Sometimes you gotta harpoon them twice. Ooh. Feisty! I guess we do not have a strong enough harpoon yet. No, we can't get them. Alright, we are going deeper. Thank you for the starfish. Oh, that is what we are looking for. I think that's the one! Now get it to safety. What? Who dat? Who dare? Pretty big guy right there. Giant squid. Giant squid. Now, I will say, I've already seen large sharks. I've already seen whales in my multiple times playing this demo. Now then, we do have lots of air. Well, kind of. We have half of our air left. Thinking about doing a little more exploring. And now we have all of our air. Let's keep going. Hit some rocks. Starting to get close to weight. Don't ink me. Uh, okay, what I really want is this crate down in here. Let's see if I can find that. Let's see if we can find it. Just gotta keep going deeper. So now we're like super deep. We're in the red, which means oxygen will go down super fast. Oh, we can't get there because of the current. Ah! Swim away! All right. I think we will stop it right there. This part, we're just going to basically swim to the surface and get out of here. Normally along the way, I will catch fish because we need them for our sushi bar. Ugh, fish down here are tough. Well, that's okay. You'll see, I've got plenty of fish to serve to the customers. Right, what do we got in this crate? We could stop along the way. A sleepy toy hammer. We're running out of air. Told you I'm gonna die in this level. I guess we are gonna swim to the top. We'll make it. We're almost there. Almost there. And bam! Now that you've seen the underwater exploration of the game, I'm gonna show you the other half, and that is your own personal sushi bar. You're wondering what you're catching all those fish for? Well, it's to serve it and make money to your paying customers. Now, in the demo, you're gonna be making sushi based upon the fish that you catch. 
and you're going to be serving tea where you are manually filling the tea glasses. But supposedly, once the game fully releases, you're going to be able to serve beer, you're going to be able to expand your menu, and through that money, you're going to be able to upgrade your gear and do lots of different things. On top of that, it is currently unlocked in this part in the demo, but in the interior, you're going to be able to upgrade your stools, upgrade your bar, put in different speakers, lighting, you're going to be able to completely customize your bar the way you want it. Right now, we kind of went through a little earthquake, so we need to get it all fixed up. By the way, the NPC for the chef is my favorite person in this game. I think he is absolutely hilarious. So let me show you how this works. You see me right here, here's Dave. He's out of his wetsuit and he's kicking it. So we're gonna create a menu really quick, okay? So we're gonna put in some of these. We'll put, let's enhance you. Yes. Ooh, new dish. All right, we'll put you in there. Let's add you. Let's enhance you. All right, throw that on the menu and we will throw ooh, another one to enhance. And we will throw that on the menu. Okay, so we have our menu for the evening, okay? And once this once I open it, you'll see the menu up in here. Ready? Here we go. We are opened for business. Come on, Dave. Let's go. Our first customer. Hello, hello. Oh, you want some tea? No problem. Gotta fill it perfect. Boom. A little too full, no? Perfect. All right, so now we're waiting for our food to come out. All right, you were number one. Oh, look at that, everybody wants this one type. Which one? Uh, we'll go with you. All right, so we're serving our fish. Fish. All perfect. Okay, hold on. We got to clean up a mess right here. Helps give us a little tip. Alright, you can see the top as the menu items sell out. I think this might be it for the night. Last two. Are you happy with your service? We are closed. And then it tells me my stats, how we did. Look at that, best. X5, you were an artisan's flame. That is the sushi bar. All right, everyone, final thoughts on Dave the Diver. Did I think I was gonna like this game? No, did I like it? Absolutely. Did my kids enjoy watching me play and playing it? Absolutely. Did they get a hook? Did they hook me and want to play more? Absolutely. What I'm actually going to do is allow the demo conclusion video to take out this video because they do a good job of showing you what's to come. I'm very curious what they're going to do with this little cell phone and other little mini games and things you're going to be able to do. I'm curious what type of monsters and what boss fights look like because that is not in the demo. But figuring out how to manage the sushi bar, figuring out underwater exploration, figuring out what your weight limit is and what you can catch and what's going to kill you. Very nice job for the demo. I definitely want more. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't know if I was going to... I play a lot of action RPGs. I didn't know if I was going to like this game. And I absolutely did. First link in the description is the official Steam page for Dave the Diver. Check out the demo. It's completely free. It's up right now. Go play it. That's all I've got. Enjoy this conclusion video for Dave the Diver.
future.